Hey everyone, today we're gonna roll a cone in our, um, in our pinch rollers we got here at TAFE. This is the configuration of a pinch roller. These are your pinching rolls that, that clamps down on the material, which feeds it through. And this is your forming roll. This goes up and down in that, on that angle there to get your form as you roll. So yeah, but today we're gonna use the, um, the pinch rolls. So we're just gonna lock our roll in. So you hear a click and the pin's in the hole. This mechanism's only to pull your cones out or your cylinders out once you've finished rolling it. That's the whole idea of this bit. Yeah. So today we're rolling a three mil thick cone. When rolling a cone, you, you want a slight grip on the material, but not too tight. So we'll bring that rolls up, please, Lou. Slowly. About, about there. Could back it off a tiny bit. Yeah, I'd say there. All right, All right. Put All right. So the pinch rolls do come with their own built-in snubber, but for what we're doing, it's a little bit tricky because it's, it's not movable. We just need our own external one so we can flip the cone around and just get it. So it's just a bit of plate with a little bit of angle. That goes in here and the angle sits between the pinch rolls. So another reason why the external snubber is good is because it allows the cone to skid around in the centre rather than the edge of the plate. Yeah. And More in line with the centre rather than offset. So that's why we've put the angle inside. Ever rolling, it's good practice to square up the end of the plate as long as your plate's square just to start that roll off. Now we're going to slide the snubber, rotate the end so we avoid any flat spots. Just we want a nice form cone. Five mil, give it five loops. Yeah, so we're also going to bring the forming. Pin the forming roll up five mil. Oops. Keeping safety as your main priority. <laughs> Sliding the snub on rotating ends again. Luke's gonna bring it up a couple of wheel, maybe not maybe four mil will go this yeah. time Luke. Hey guys, while you're looking at the video on the mobile, find the little drop down arrow, scroll down in the description, click on more. This will expand the description where you can click on one of the timestamps for your topic of interest. Right, road tower snubber first, good. Okay, Luke, give it up. How much are we going, James? Oh, we'll probably go two, three mil, Luke. Yep. Come 
warming up another two minutes. Always starting with the smallest diameter of the cone inside the snubber. I'm going to go a mil and a half this time, Luke. Hold it there for a second. Yep. Let's get a photo of that as it's set. Good. Yep. Another mil, mil and a half. Look. We're coming to the end of the roll. Ideally, we want either edge of the plate overlapping 5 or 10 mil just for ease of fabrication ideally without any flat spots so we'll come up just a little bit Luke oh, there you go, beautiful so we'll get it in okay, nice. alright let's turn Now it looks like that it's overlapped, maybe 5 or 10 mil, it's going to take the other. Release this pin, rotate the cam, oh sorry, release the bolt, and we pull out the roll. And here's our cone. As you can see, we've got about 5 10 mil overlap. Which is not going to be hard to pull Which around. is not going to be hard to pull, pull around. Just put it on the back there. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. Good, good. Good. Done. Done. Quite all of that. Yep. <laughs> Thank you.